Okay guys, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Now let's solve this one another problem from Hebler Dynamics. The problem says that the spring has stiffness k 50 pound per feet and an unstretched length of 2 feet. As shown, it is confined by the plate and wall using cables so that its length is 1.5 feet. A 4 pound block is given a speed VA when it is at A and it slides down the inclined having coefficient of kinetic friction 0.2. If it strikes the plate and pushes it forward by 0.25 feet before stopping, determine its speed at A. So we have to find the velocity at point A. And this uh, 4 pound block hits with the spring. So it compresses the spring by a distance of 0.25 feet and then it comes to rest, right. So, let us say that uh, this compresses the spring by a distance of 0.25 feet. Let us say that the spring reaches here and the block is located somewhere here like this. So, that this will be the further decrease in the length and that is 0.25. So, now the initial compression when the block is at A, so let us say that the initial compression in the spring is S A and then when the block hits this plate form and when it compresses the spring by a distance of 0.25, let us say that the compression uh, in the spring when the block reaches this point, let us say this point is B. So, that would be the compression in the spring at point B. So, now initially when the spring is uh, compressed by 1.5 feet. So, the compression will be the original length. So, the unstretched length is 1.5 feet. So, that is 1.5 minus this initial compression that initial length. So, that is 1.5. Uh, the unstretched length is 2 feet. So, that is 2 minus 1.5. So, that is this is equal to 0 0.5 feet. So, the initial compression in the spring is uh, 0.5 feet. The unstretched length is some until somewhere here. This is 2 feet. So, 2 feet minus 1.5 is the initial compression. This is S A. And then when the block compresses the spring further until somewhere here, then this is S B. This is S B. And then this, this, this distance is, this compression is 0.25. So, 1.5 minus 0 0.25. So, this will be the remaining length. So, this is uh, 1.5 minus 0 0.25. So, this is 1.25. This is 1.25 feet. So, SB will be 2 feet minus 1.25. So, that gives us uh, 2 minus 1.25. So, that gives us 0 0.75 feet. So, this is the final compression in the spring. So, now to find the velocity of the block at A, we have to apply the work energy principle. So, from the work energy principle, we can say that the kinetic energy of the block at A plus the summation of the work done due to the external forces on the block from A to B will be equal to the kinetic energy at point B. So, now if we consider the free body diagram of the block when it just come in contact with that spring. So, the spring force is going to act in the upward direction when the block reaches here. Let us say when the block is located somewhere here. So, the spring force will act in this direction. So, let me write that this is the spring force. The weight is going to act vertically downward. That this is the weight and the normal force is going to act in the upward direction. So, this is the normal force. So, the angle of the incline is given by uh, this triangle and similarly, it is said that there is a kinetic friction. So, the kinetic friction is going to act in the opposite direction of the displacement travel. So, this will be the mu k times n. This is the friction force and this is mu k times n and we have to find this n. So, for that, if I extend the line of action of this normal force and if this incline is making some angle theta here, 
So then this weight is going to make that same angle theta here since this normal is perpendicular with the inclined surface and this weight is perpendicular with the horizontal line. So the angle between the horizontal and the inclined surface is theta then the angle between the weight and the normal is also theta. So now if we resolve this weight into its components, so this is the cos component, this is W cos of theta and then this is the sine component, this is the W sine of theta. So now if we apply the summation of forces along the normal axis, summation of forces along the normal axis, uh, or we can say that the summation of forces along y, if we, if we, if, if this is my positive x and y direction, so if we apply the summation of forces along the y axis, that would be equal to m a y and is, we can see that the block is only moving along the horizontal direction, that is along the plane. So there is no acceleration in the y direction, so this will become zero. So now from this we can write that n is acting in the positive y direction minus the cos component of the weight that is w cos of theta and this will be equal to 0 or we can say that n is equal to w and w is 4 pounds this is given this is 4 pounds so 4 pounds cos of theta and from this triangle we can write that cos of theta is base divided by hypotenuse so that is 4 divided by 5 so this is 4 divided by 5 so from this we can say that n is 16 divided by 5 pounds this is that n now when the block is moving from here and when it comes just in contact with the spring so as we can see that the normal force is perpendicular with the displacement travel so this is not going to do any work so the work is done due to the weight the spring force and the friction force so we can write that the kinetic energy plus the work done due to the weight plus the work done due to the spring force plus the work done due to the friction force and that will be equal to the kinetic energy at point B. So now the uh, kinetic energy at point A is 1 divided by 2 mass, so mass is the weight divided by 32.2 into Va square and we want to find Va, Va is unknown. So this is uh, 2 divided by 32.2, let me find this, this is uh, 0 0.5, 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5 multiplied by 4 divided by 32.2. So this gives me 0 0.0621, 0 0.0621 VA square plus the work done due to the weight plus the work done due to the spring force plus the work done due to the friction force and this is equal to the kinetic energy at point B. And the kinetic energy at point B is zero since it will come to rest. It is said that if it strikes the plate and pushes it forward by 0.25 feet before stopping. So the velocity at point B when it re reaches this point, so that will become zero. So the kinetic energy at point B is zero. Now the work done due to the weight is always equal to the weight times the change in the vertical position. So the weight is given which is 4 and the change in the vertical position. So the block travels 3.25, this distance is 0.25. So the block travels 3.25 feet distance from A to B, this is point B. So the change in the vertical position will be this length, right? If I draw a triangle here, let's say if we draw a triangle here from A to B. So we will have this triangle and this length from A to B is 3.25 and the incline is making that angle theta. So this uh, perpendicular of the triangle is the change in Y. So change in Y will be 3.25 sine of theta that is 3.25 sine of theta and sine of theta from this triangle is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse. So let me write that this is 3 divided by 5. So this is change in Y. So the work done due to the weight is 4 times delta y and delta y is 3.25 into 3 divided by 5. So we can find that work done due to the weight. So this is 4 multiplied by 3.25 multiplied by 3 divided by 5. So this is 7.8. So the work done due to the weight is 7.8 pound feet. Now the work done due to the spring force is 
as we know that this is 1 divided by 2 the k s b square plus 1 divided by 2 k s a square and I can take this 1 divided by 2 uh, k outside of the equation we can take it common and k is 50. So, 50 this k is 50 and here this is 50. So, 50 divided by 2 is 25. So, we can write this is 25 and this is also 25. This is SB minus 25 SA square. So, we can write this as like 25 as B square and as we can see that the block is traveling in the negative x direction that is towards the left and the spring force is acting in the opposite direction. So, the work done due to the spring force is the negative one. So, we have to put minus sign here. This is minus. So, we can write that this is minus 25 as B square minus as A square. So, this is minus 25. We know as B. As B is 0 0.75. We have already determined. So, this is 0 0.75 square minus as A. As A is 0 0.5. So, this is 0 0.5 square. So, we can determine it. This is minus 25 into 0 0.75 square minus 0 0.5 square. So, this is minus 7.8125. So, the work done due to the spring force is minus 7.8125 pound feet. Similarly, the work done due to the friction force is let me write it here the work done due to the friction force will be equal to the friction force times the total distance traveled by the block along the incline right since the friction force is acting from a to b so from a to b the block has traveled 3.25 distance so we will multiply it with 3.25 and the friction force is mu k times n so mu k is 0.2 that is 0.2 and n is 16 divided by 5. So, multiply by 16 divided by 5. So, this is the work done due to the friction force. So, that is uh, 0 0.2 multiplied by 16 multiplied by 3.25 divided by 5. So this gives me 2.08. So, this is 2.08 pound feet. Now, if we put all these uh, values in this equation, so that is 0 0.0.0621 Va square and the work done due to the weight is 7.8. The work done due to the spring force is minus 7.8125 and the work done due to the friction force is minus 2.08 and this is equal to 0. So, we need to add these three terms. So, this is 7.8 minus 7.8125 minus 2.08. So, this gives us minus 2.0925 minus 2.0925 and this is equal to 0. And this is 0 0.0621 Va square. And if I bring this term to the other side of the equation, so it will become positive and divide both sides of equation by 0 0.0621. So, that will be Va square and then if we take the square root, so that would give us the velocity of the block at point A. So, 2.0925 divided by 0 0.0621. So, that is 5.80. So, the velocity of the block at A is 5.80 feet per second.